All right, what is this map? We are on Turkey, the delicious food. No, it is the map. There are six players here. Turn to my little thing here. And we are the green player in fifth order. We are very heavily on this side of the board. These are the bonuses. Nine, that's a big one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten territories to hold that one. That's gonna be a hard bonus to hold. We got five here. Looks like the black player wants this. We got nine, nine, six, six, and five. Okay. I imagine this is gonna be one of these boards where very few people hold bonuses. I think this is the free map of the week right now. Um, hmm, Marmara looks good. It's a one, two, three, four point hold. Five point hold, because that connects over there. Five point hold, kind of a lot. This is also a one, two, three, four, five point hold. Five point hold, five point hold. Red, where are you going? Going in there? Going down there? This plus six right here is a one, two, three, four, five, no, five, six, seven, eight point hold. This is terrible. This is a plus six with a one, two, three, four, five, six point hold. So the only three points that are even maybe holdable are this plus five, this plus six, and this plus five. Frankly, this seems like a map where you can't really hold bonuses. No bonuses, okay. I mean, unless you do trust exercises with, and, and find something you can do good trust exercises with. Does the host of this lobby have alliances on? They do. Who wants to be the homies? Who wants to be the homies? I'll be the homies with everybody. We buddies, everybody. Hey, there it is. Hey, there's all the love. Yeah, there it is. Here we go. Got this one as well. Got some homies over here. Great. All right. Looks like yellow's attacking around in here. Okay. I'm down to nine territories. No, yeah, I'm I'm the green player. I'm down to nine territories. Unfortunately, a lot of my territories have gotten hit. That's very, very unlucky. Somebody, why am I not a 19? I guess you're down to 18. Yeah, bit unlucky there. Um, I guess I I got, I've only got, not strong there, four here, I could try and move down, actually. Some here, slam that, fortify this down. Orange seems to be going over there, nobody seems to be going for a Aegean. There's only three bonuses going worth, going, that are worth going for, this one, this one, and this one. These ones are very unlikely for anybody to hold. I don't like how this five is unfortunately just stuck over there, and that's useless to us. Card grab later, maybe, this is useless. That two's... Not looking great if Orange is going for that. I guess we go down for this and uh, hope we can play good neighbors with somebody. I say we move this down over here. It's likely nobody gets to hold a bonus this entire match, honestly. It's a quite probable situation. Highly progress, highly probable. It is progressive, it is indeed. No blizzards in this map. I wish more people would be using blizzards here. I can't host the lobby without getting stream sniped in Bolivia. And also, if you're seeing this as a YouTube video, this is being streamed live on twitch.tv slash cgplayslive, or was streamed, rather. If you're watching this after the fact, come hang out sometime. If you want. If you want. All right, so... I do wish there were blizzards on this map. Are you trying to go for this territory? He's getting a card grab. Don't come over here. You, you don't see my eight stack right here, clearly signaling them going down here. The little trail leading to over here. Oh, the white player wants to fight me for this. The white player wants to fight me for this, unless they want to go for this down here instead. Or they just want to gather up the troops. I feel like nobody's going to hold a bonus here. I feel like nobody's going to hold a bonus here. But it seems to be. Not on a five point hold here. Yeah, they, they seem to want to stop me here. All right. Well, again, we're down to nine territories. Not great. All right. So what we need is to have, I think, probably just two... Two big stacks, or I just want to go for a one big stack. I could just be one big stack, roaming around, making sure nobody holds a bonus. Maybe? Perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. If it's progressive, then trying to hold bonuses isn't worth it, they say in chat. It depends. For this map, I think you might be right. Uh, with, like, trying to get a five-point hold or whatever seems a bit crazy. Um, For other maps, well, very different can be a very different case, especially as blizzards. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not really hosting lobbies because that's a great way to get streams up into Oblivion. So I've just been joining other people. I'm trying to go for world domination. And I'm finding most people that do like obscure different maps for world domination, they don't like to do blizzard. It's just blank. I need more blizzard enjoyers out there for normal world domination. For caps, they almost always use them. Realistically, I just, I would like to live in a world where I could play the game without to worry about stream snipers messing everything up. And I could just host my own maps with my own settings and they'd be perfect. But alas, the stream snipies. 
The stream snipies, they have zero chill. You can't reason with them, because there's a new one every day. Yeah, this is a patience big stack map. Seems like it. Seems like it. Alright, so... Or I've put out the alliance. It's only two people like set with them. Good to know. Black and orange are the homies. Yellow has 13 territories. You just try to slam black there for... Oh, I see you're hoping to get good dice. You're just trying to get everything you have over to here to hold this bonus. I find it unlikely that Emma's going to let you hold that. You definitely don't have the troops to hold it. Blue, or orange, rather. Why am I? Blue's name of the board. What's wrong with my brain? Here, yeah, go ahead. That's fine. That, too, is basically forfeit anyways. I worry about that. My favorite settings and maps, it varies. I'm partial to world domination with blizzards. If I have a lot of time to kill, I, I don't, I don't, I'm like a, a Caps Fog of War blizzards. Um, all right, White's not going to let me have this down here, unfortunately. It's five is okay for over there for now. Well, I guess we just stack this over here. And he's got a thumbs up, sure. I'm always thumbs upping for, but whatever. We grab this, and then we fortify this over to here. Just trying to, like, communicate. It doesn't really matter if it's there or there. I'm trying to, like, signal to the white player that I'm trying to combine these troops up here. I think white's e white might be getting her... The fact that they're trying to like go into this territory when I had this, like I was, any veteran player could clearly see I was going in for this. So either they're a noob that just wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, or they're a veteran who like just doesn't care. They want to make sure ne neither of us gets it, which is it's an, a viable play as well. Also a good option. The fact that they split these stacks into two is a bit weird. I'm not sure why you won't just have one stack over here. It might be a newer player perhaps. We're going to try to blitz uh, one, uh, two with a one. I mean, something, you never know. Sometimes a more experienced player will do that just to try and increase some of the territories they have for whatever reason. Might be a beginner, though. It's hard to say. I've had matches where I'm like, this guy's a beginner. And they turned out to be a master who pretended to be, to be a beginner to, like, trick me to lay my guard down. They're smart like that. Some people are tricksy like that. Pretend to be a noob strategy can definitely work. It worked on me, like, an hour ago. Maybe an hour and a half. I don't remember what it was. Sometime in the stream. Sometime in the stream, it did. All right, are you going for this plus nine? Slowly but surely you are. My five's in your way. Fortifying a big stack over there. Scary could go whammo, whammo onto my five. There's nothing I can do to save that five. I try to move it over to here. It's gone by the time it gets to here. Leave, leave one behind there, 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 there. Nothing left. Can't do anything with it. You attack into that territory that you don't need. Getting a card. I don't think game's going for territories. I don't think anybody's going for territories right now. I think we're just going for stacks and positioning. Seems to be what's happening. Anybody low on troops? Not really. It was being pretty chill so far. If anything, I might need to move out of White's territory to ensure they don't slam my 10 stack. If they're like a proper noob, they might actually try to slam my 10 stack for that bonus. Hopefully not that new. Yellow's attacking a bunch, having a lot more territories to get more troop income. Can work for them, but also leaves them, you know, I haven't had my round this turn. I've got the same amount of troops as they do. Their troops will get their troops will get attacked more, right? Their tier, yeah. So that's a thing. I could wander around attacking your territories. Make sure I get extra troop income. Maybe you attack my territory. That's fine. We've already communicated to you before. That's okay. I understand. They're trying to grab your bonus. Here's the problem. You might actually get and hold that bonus. Because I'm not going to break it. Because I don't want to have a wrath of an angry noob. I shouldn't say noob. New player. I'm not even, I'm, I'm assuming you're a new player. I could be wrong. Um, Fortifying on me. Yeah. Just one. Interesting. Not very trusting. Not very trusting. I stack over here. I attack this two for a card here. Please don't lose too many. Lost none. Fantastic. Fortify this over to here. Here's the thing. I don't want orange getting their territory while I don't. That'd be not great for me. But then again, I might just have to let them get it. The white player's not going to let me hold this. Unless they move, which I don't think they will. Maybe they'll get scared of my 13 and start moving their troops out. And maybe I can try to grab the plus six that I was clearly trying to race them for. Maybe. I don't know. It's a tough one. It really comes down to, like, it, this is one of these matches where, like, based on, like, the map and the settings, really the correct play is, like, you could try, like, 
to hold up one of these big bonuses. And what the, what you want to do is just hope to have good neighbors that don't break you. That's really the only correct play here is to pick a bonus, try to grab it, and hold it, and just hope you have a bunch of good neighbors that won't break it from you. That's about it. And if nobody wants to let you hold a bonus, or some, like the white player like here wants to just stack in here and block you from getting it, they might be botting out because they saw me in here. Maybe not. I mean, I guess I could try and like rotate towards this plus nine and hope for good neighbors over there. This plus six over good neighbors down there, but did you bot out? You did bot out. Yeah, that's not great. Well, I guess I can just keep card trading the bot here. Fortunate that the white player went for my area and then just left. So 100% white is a new player. They didn't see me going for this. They tried to follow me for it, and then they realized, oh, this guy's going for it. He's got more troops, and they they give up and bot out, which in some ways is worse because the bot seems to be one of the ones that's coded to go for my territory exclusively here. So we won't get this, but at the very least, there's a chance the bot might slam into you as well. I'm just worried that I might have a bot denying me getting my territory over here while you guys all grab yours. Could be a problem. Title of the video, why get the winner, winner turkey dinner? <laughs> the funny one. I could stop stacking troops over here and start stacking over here and try and grab this plus nine. It's a ambitious hold. Yell's trying to get their bonus there. I honestly, with a with a rampaging bot, it's unlikely any of us hold this. What I could actually do could actually be better. I could leave the bot's area, let the bot get this bonus, and the bot will use those troops to stop anybody else from getting a bonus. Just get away from the bot and force you guys to deal with it. It's honestly probably my best play. I have to hit a th I have to hit a three stack to get through there, which is not great. I could lose if I'm really unlucky, three or four troops doing it, which I don't want to do. But then I could fortify up to here, miles away from the bot. Let the bot grab this territory, attack oranges three or your four, and let the bot do some damage. That might be my winning play here, and just I don't get to hold a bonus and count on the bot to break everybody else's bonuses. There we go, right? Might be the winning play. I think that could be the move. Maybe. Maybe. Take this. Wish, uh, wish this had happened a turn later. I want the bot to break you and not let you get that plus six. But honestly, I feel be okay here. I need to get away from the bot. I'm not going to card trade on three. No, thank you. Bad deal. In progressive. Please don't lose too many. We lost two. Yeah, it could be worse, I guess. I would rather have lost zero. But at least it wasn't like three or four. I don't mind it so much. Uh, Tatu says, can you play the way... I don't do music requests, sorry. I just have, a, I just have my copyright-free YouTube playlist going. Although one of them did get a copyright strike on one of the VODs, so one of these songs is not copyrighted according to Twitch. It might be like copyrighted according to YouTube, but not on Twitch. I need to customize my playlist here for uh, Twitch only, but no, I don't, do, I don't do music requests because it's just a nuisance, and half time people request songs I don't even like. Ooh, that's exactly what I wanted. That is great there. That is fantastic. That's what I want. Now these other players are going to be like wasting troops breaking the bot, or maybe they leave the bot alone. Maybe Orange doesn't realize the bot. The bot gets troops and they break Orange for me, because I don't want Orange getting bonus if I don't. The bot could actually help us out here. The fact that I left to let the bot get that's actually good. It's good. It's Tato. Tattoo, Tatutu, Tato. I don't know, whatever. I'm... I'm even you saying that still doesn't help me to pronounce it properly. Ta ta to tattoo. I don't know. I'm always gonna be pronouncing names wrong. Even if you tell me how to pronounce it properly, I'll forget in an hour and say it wrong again. Yeah, the last one. Bold of you for me to resume to, to assume that I remember what the last one was. I'm sorry. I've got like 95,000 subscribers on uh, on YouTube. I, I I cannot remember the pronunciation for all of your different names. I'm sorry. I give it a shot, and it is what it is. Alright, so you have 15 territories, 36 troops. I only have 22 troops. We've not been doing great here. We've not been doing great. I want to move this wave. I don't like yellow stacking right there. Does yellow have their bonus? No, that would show me. Eight troops for orange. I imagine they break the bot, but if they're busy with the bot, it's good. It's good. They're, they're we're going to focus on protecting their borders. Wait, it's only a four-point hold? That's actually back there. It's only a four-point hold. That's even better than I thought. 
They break the bot, this is fine. They can keep wasting troops breaking the bot over and over again. Eventually the bot's gonna card trade, and that card trade's gonna start slamming even more to protect this and slam them, so. In the short term, them holding this is gonna work out pretty well for them, but in the long term, the bot's gonna like bust, gonna just gonna, just gonna bust them up once they get more card trades going. Give it five or 10 rounds and try to hold that, it's gonna be bad for them. All right, well, I guess we are going to keep gradually moving this way, little by little and uh, work on trying to just reduce how much we get slapped around the board here. Bad luck we had lost like most a bunch of tier troops before we even had our turn, but we're still doing all right. 24 troops, 26, 25. The three of us are all even. You're ahead. You're somehow ahead because you've had lots of territories and nobody's really been hitting them. Um, Black and red are busy denying each other for this bonus over here. The boss can keep reclaiming this. You're going to keep slamming that one over there. And as long as I just stay away from the bot, eventually it's going to be kind of okay for us. Get myself over to here, combine this as on the way. Go here, combine this. And just card trade with people over here while the then we push the bot out of here. Let the bot rampage over here against yellow and orange and maybe red a little bit. And that gives us a slight advantage. I'm becoming a wrecking ball. Breaker of bonuses. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The question is, do we hit here? Do we hit here? One turn, the next turn hit here. Fortify that up. Fortify to here. I guess, like, my next turn I could hit to here. The turn after, I could deposit troops here, hit here, fortify here, and then follow that through and just work on pushing the bot entirely out of the side of the board so it's only over there. Less likely for it to, like, slam on my little ones and twos everywhere, right? Reduce the loss of my troops. All right. Yeah, I mean, if I was yellow, they, I would just try to grab that central bonus and hope we got away with it, right? Oh yeah, I'll have to just hit a, a four stack there. That right there. It's unlikely to get to hold it. The bot's mostly just going to focus on this. As long as orange keeps breaking it, all the bots can do is just grab this. It might occasionally tag out here, but that's about it, right? Yellow's going to stack near me there. It's fine. We'll see. Are you gonna try and grab that? And they might. Gotta hope that the orange. I gotta hope that orange or. I mean, on the turn order, orange goes after yellow. So, oh, you attacked my two stack. Well, that simplifies things for me a little bit. Not sure why I did that. Could have easily hit this. You had so many different plays. You could you could get a card without hitting mine. Yellow feels antagonistic towards me left that behind. There were a lot of spots you could have gone to get a card that didn't involve hitting my two. You could have hit a one here, 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 a one here. Instead, you choose to hit my two. Yellow. Playing antagonistic towards is trying to push me down lower and lower troops. They're making it easier and easier to eliminate me. Let's think what their goal is. I think they see that I'm kind of low on troops. Pretty everybody. I mean, I haven't card traded yet. I'll get 12 here. will give me a 35. I'll be right back up in it, but I am kind of position-wise easy to eliminate here, I think. Or maybe me pushing through here upset them, or me having my troops near them is not, they're not loving that? I don't know. I mean, a two stack's not the end of the world, but I'd rather have kept it right. We will do, uh, I guess, this right here. And what I can do is I can do one of these. Just gonna keep on moseying my little way on out of here. Do I hit this? Make sure the boss not gonna stack near me. I think we exactly do that. Yell's calling me a traitor. Why? Why is Yell calling me a traitor? I'm attacking white, not them. I think the yellow player thinks that I'm acting antagonistic towards them and they're trying to communicate their displeasure with me by calling a traitor. I mean, one, you never accepted my alliance. I think yellow is a clueless new player. Sorry to call them clueless, but it's they they think that I'm act doing some active war against them when in reality I'm just card trading across the board, doing you a favor, pushing the bot out away from over here, or maybe not, or maybe they're maybe they're better. I give them credit for. Maybe they see exactly what I'm doing. Maybe they see exactly that I'm pushing the bot to be just on their border. And that's going to have the bot attacking them and yellow. Maybe they see exactly what I'm doing. Could be, could be. Maybe. Could be. Could be. But all I can tell is that yellow seems to be unhappy with me. 
I don't feel like I've really done that much that's antagonistic towards them. To be honest, what I'm doing with the bots, more problem for uh, Orange than anything. Did, let's see. Bot reclaimed their bonus. Bot car traded. You've got 32. The bot's still the weakest on the board. I'm just going to keep on moving my way along out of here. I don't really know... I don't fully know why Yellow's so upset at, at me. I've been attacking through here, which is not part of the shit. Were they trying to grab this? Were they trying to grab the Black Sea Coast? They don't have this or this. They didn't have that or that or that. No, I don't think they were. I don't know what the heck is, I don't know what the heck Yellow do, is doing or what the problem is, honestly. It's hard to know what's going through some people's minds. Some people can completely misinterpret somebody's intention and take it as an act of war. Ooh, they're distracted by red. I feel like... Is Yellow just trying to keep big stacks near wh whoever has a big stack near them? That's exactly what they're trying to do. Anytime somebody has a big stack near their borders, they want to put a big stack near that. That is a fascinating strategy that I'm not even sure, like, is a good strategy. Attacking my territory again, it does feel like they have some kind of problem with me. Or they're trying to make it easier for other players to eliminate me to progress the game. That is a viable strategy. Or they're trying to claim this bonus. That's also a possibility as well. There's a lot of different things they could be doing, but they're definitely stacking, like, they're not playing very... They're not playing the social game very well, I feel. It feels like they're playing antagonistic towards Red and myself. Uh, and they're also trying to grab a bonus in the middle of the board, or not at all. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Are you going to eliminate blue here for three cards? Actually, well played. Well played. Okay. I mean, you've been getting that turn for a while. Neither myself, nor black, nor yellow did anything to break it. And wait. Wait, I've got a kill guard. 27 right here, blocking your axe through here. You have to take them out here and go across the entire board. Did you? Are you going to feed the kill to me? Are you going to feed the kill to me like a silly boy? Like a silly little boy. Are you going to feed this kill on them to me? Oh, attack that eight. Yes. And then take this out and take this out and then completely forget about this over here. Oh, I've done this before where I've gone to eliminate somebody. Oh, they were just going for the bonus. But you still fed the kill to me. You still fed the kill to me. I want those cards. I want them. This 27 will hit there and there. And then this stack will go down through here and take them out. I want those three cards. So it's not giving me immediate card traded, but it stops anybody else from getting them. Let's go ahead. I'll let Orange have this. We're allies. We're buddies. I'm not sure what the black player said because I was busy doing my thing here. Whoops. Slider's not put properly there. Let's go ahead and do this. I can also fortify these back together afterwards. And we'll be on this side of the board. Now being over on this side of the board doesn't really matter. Oh, that's bad slattering there on my part. There we go. I get the three cards. That should re-up the troops I did. A card trade on three next turn. Fantastic. Actually, I'll, I'll get another card at the end here. Well played. Fortify this over to here. Honestly, they'll probably like that because now they have two territories and the bots. Fine. I didn't break them either. Let's give them the love. I never held a bonus. And I have 60 troops. Only seven less than you. And I have... Uh, three more cards than they do. So I'm actually in a stronger position than Orange because once I trade the next turn, I'll have uh, another 35. I've never held a bonus, but I'm actually going to be uh, s slightly ahead of on troops compared to Orange next turn. But you give them two or three more turns of holding these two bonuses, it's going to get wild. Ooh, Red could maybe stack these right here and path to Red. Red could maybe try to limit me here. 35 on top of this gives you like 60 some odd. If red's good, they stack everything right here. Bam, 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 bam. Follow me all the way back. Hit through here, hit here, hit here, leave three. Go through this, hit this, hit this, hit this. They would need good dice, but it would take me out. It would give, me, give them immediate card trade. Um, cause my four plus there, one. Gives them an extra 40. Replenishes their troops. That Actually, that doesn't really help them that much. That doesn't really help them that much. Ooh, they might actually gonna be breaking orange here. They're, they definitely, they don't limit me now with this. Or maybe they do. Maybe they are trying to take me out. Are they trying to take me out? I think they are. I think they are trying to take me out here. And they're not doing it very well at all. Are they trying to take out the black player? Are they trying to take out the black player? They're trying to take out the black player because they only have 30. I didn't realize that. And they have five cards. I didn't even realize this guy had less troops and more cards. They're actually a better person to eliminate right now. 100%. And I think they will succeed with this. They get this. They get this. This rolls through all of this here and gets this. Hurts me a bunch. Orange just sitting back here loving this, getting left alone the whole time. 
That gives another immediate card trade, which they can use for a bigger card trade to take me out. Well played, well played. And I have four cards here, which makes me a juicy target. Perhaps I messed up. Perhaps I messed up. Oopsie. Doopsie. We're in trouble here. If we're lucky, they don't go for me this right away. Or are they going to? 40 on there. Attack red. Thumbs up. I wish you'd attack, set my line so I can communicate to you, but no dice. Oh, I think you could take me out here. They're going for orange. That's wild. Orange had more troops than me and only one card. I think red was better off going for me. I think they just want orange having a bonus. I don't think they had the confidence to take me out. They were low on time is why they didn't go for me. They were low on time is why they didn't go for me. They didn't think they had enough time to like split and go around here. Go through. A, I think a Grandmaster takes me out right there. All right. So here's the thing. I agree to attacking red. If I don't break red, I, if I break red, red's going to be mad at me. And they're actually kind of stronger than I am right now. From that kill on black, they're being pretty good for them. Yellow's attacking red a lot. Interesting. Interesting. Red is very strong on the board here. Oh, yellow's just trying to get more stuff in general. Okay. I don't even have a. A, a yellow again seeming to target me feels like they attacked I mean they're attacking red a bunch too I don't know I think I think I think yellow might just be a new player whose whole strategy is like I'm just gonna hold lots of territories and get more bonus for having more territories seems to be the extent of their strategy come on break red's bonus they'll have four maybe that breaks are you trying to eliminate red you can't right break them at least break them so I don't have to they hit nine they hit the nine that's wild interesting they're going for this you don't have enough troops to beat red I don't know why you're starting a war with red that you can't actually win. I, maybe their goal is to get all of us to gang up on red. I mean, I'm OK with that. I eliminate anybody next turn. I have a card trade. I do have a card trade, right? 45. What can I do with this 45? Slam it. Slam it. We're there. 45 gives me a plus like three is 48. Gives me like a 90 something stack, right? 92. I don't know. Quick maths. 92. What can I do with 92? I could try and roll through the board, eliminate it red. I'd get 45 troops back for taking out your 66. That kind of leaves me about even on the board. I feel like yellow might be a newer player, so strategy-wise. I mean, so far, red's the only one who's gone for a kill. I'm not sure here. Red's Card-wise, red's the one to go for the elimination. Get that little red circle off there. It's our turn. We car I think we go for red here. They're not that hard to get in the board. I'm homies with orange. Don't know about yellow. I think uh, we. It's a lot of cards. You. I think. I feel like they're the biggest threat on the board, and I think getting them out of here is going to be very advantageous for us. So that's exactly what we're going to try and do. Let me take my actions quicker here. Pathing better would be good, honestly. I'm not pathing through the best. Might be upsetting yellow a bit by attacking them a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and take out red here. Hopefully nobody gets too mad. I'm not going to break orange here. Um, we have to go through this, unfortunately. Uh, I think orange might be a newer player. Yellow feels like they might be a newer player. Yellow just fed me the kill on them. This will break me up. Uh, this should get me about even on my troops income. But um, I didn't see what you said there, but it disappeared. Lost a lot of troops there, but I, mean, I feel like we got bad dice there on that. We get this right here. I've got a 69 stack. Um, I could try to eliminate something for two cards. It does not give me immediate card trading, so I'm actually not going to. I am going to fortify uh, this over to here. It's not worth it for me to try to eliminate a player right now. Oh, no, 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 because I got that one card in the turn. I would not have gotten immediate card trading. So if I had pushed somebody else out, the other person, it would have been it would have turned into like a pretty close 1v1. The yellow player, are you a bot? No, you're a player. So they just like to, their whole strategy is like the whole lot of territories. Seems to be. Seems to be. Okay. All right. So I don't feel like I have to worry about yellow chaining eliminations. We are in progressive. It's round nine, usually around round eight or round nine. It's mostly about chaining kills for eliminations. And I don't feel like yellow understands the concept of chaining kills for eliminations. So I don't feel too very much threatened by them like car trading and then taking out orange and then feeding that into taking out me or anything like that. 
I don't feel too worried about that. I feel like if I just have one big 73 stack, the yellow player's not going to go for that. I feel like Yellows wants to hold a bunch of territories. And I feel like or Orange is going to play for bonuses. I have a card trade in three. Oh, I've had a card trade in three. That'd be a GG, but we don't, unfortunately. I have not. My ability to get a card trade in three at the right moment tonight has been brutally unlucky. I've been streaming for four hours. And the number of times I've gotten a card trade in three and needed it, so it's not many. They attack my three here. It, may, it, makes, it makes sense that now Orange and Yellow are going to focus on my territories because oh, I'm doing pretty well here. Oh, but they're also attacking Yellow. I think they're just trying to grab another bonus. I think they're trying to hold the Mediterranean coasts. I think their plan is to grab another bonus. That's fine. That's fine. Spend all your troops attacking each other's bonus. This is great. This, you, the more they attack each other's territories per turn, the more they're wasting their troops, the more they're getting upset at each other. Yeah, they wanted to hold that bonus because they can't go for this one because I'm in it. Yeah. Yellow just thinks in terms of holding as many territories as possible. Orange only thinks in terms of holding bonuses. So what I am going to do, since I don't have a card trade on three here, unfortunately, is I am just going to stack right here. I am going to get a single card here. And we are going to chill out and call that our turn. Um, I find it unlikely that either of you, I mean, one of you probably has a card trade on three, but neither of you has a really big stack that can, yeah. I mean, 55 on that 17 still doesn't really beat my 79. 60 on your 75, it goes all the way around with good dice, could maybe... I don't think either of them takes me out next turn. Um, I mean, this this is poised for uh, Orange, but I'm not sure Orange is experienced enough at the game to understand that this is poised at them for elimination. Also, it's possible I can just go through this, through this, and work my way out into yellow. And honestly, I need to attack more of my ter territories to make it easier to eliminate them. Um, could eliminate Orange and change it on yellow there, though. Did I know troops for that? 79 versus their... F I mean, I had... Three, it could have gotten two, and then... I mean, yeah, you're right. I guess, like, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I could have, um... Yeah, taken him, taken him without the card trade and got the card trade at the end of it. Um... But that would have left me with, like, what? Probably, like, maybe 40 less troops. And I lose that. Gives me 20, 110 versus your... Eh, it, against... If yellow's a Grandmaster, taking out orange last turn would have been risky. I mean, but if I had card trade, I could use that stack to then push the veil. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. Maybe I could have uh, taken my last turn. Just close my path for orange. No, I can go up this way and that way. Or I can go this way, through here, and then through this way. So, path's still open. A little more inconvenient, perhaps, but still fine. What are you do with that? Stacking it down there. Ten troops for orange. If you have a card trade in three, that's unfortunate. Ah! <sighs> All right, maybe I should have tried to take out Orange last turn. That's fine. We can just keep staying, staying down here. Wait for the card traits to line up again a little bit. Honestly, the more they take out my stacks here and waste their troops on each other, frankly, the easier it is going to be for me to do this. Unless Orange try. I mean, Orange with good dice, Orange takes me out here. They could attack here, attack here, but there's got these three up here, which actually kind of helped me out. If those three were gone, it'd be Orange's best move to hit me here, hit me here, hit this, get my four. But like I said. Orange and yellow newer players don't see it. I mean, I'm not a Grandmaster myself. I think a Grandmaster would have said what uh, they said in chat there and taken an orange last turn and try to change that into yellow, but I think what we're doing here actually could work out for us. Let these two work on each other till the cards work out. I just wasn't expecting both of them to have a card trade on three. The, the card trade on three RNG has been very, very bad for me <laughs> today. Enemies always card trade on three at the cr crucial moments. They are going for me. No, they're just going for every territory in the board. They just want every territory on the board, and they're also making it easy to eliminate me when times come, but this is actually great. They're burning through a lot of their troops and Yellow's troops. They were trying to get good dice to eliminate Yellow. They were hoping for good dice. You were very, that was very ambitious. No card trade on four is nuts for us, but you have one card, excuse me, the five I need. That is wild. The way new players play is absolutely insane sometimes. Crazy pants. I mean, if they had gotten lucky, but yellow only had one card. I don't know what's going on. I've that's 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 wild that that's how Orange played that. Because even if they had taken him out, yellow only had one card, so it wouldn't have done them that much good. M maybe I, I don't understand the psychology right there. Maybe they're just like, since I was such a homie to them the whole match, maybe they're angry at yellow and self destructing. Don't think they can win. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they weren't taking. Th I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they were. Maybe they weren't thinking in terms of card bonus elimination, but thinking in terms of. I, 
what do you think is the psychology behind that? Let me know what your thoughts are out there. All right, now we'll just kind of clean up. It could easily be, um, like, just made a mistake. They're ambitious about the numbers. We'll say good game, well played. This was very, a very strange match, but I feel like a lot... Anytime I play against, like, new players, the matches quite often will play out very strangely. And that's what I like about them. You play against, like, grandmasters, the matches get, like, like very uh, predictable. You play against... You put some novices and some beginners in the match, and they start playing ways that are, like, wildly weird, unpredictable, and don't make sense. But that's what makes it interesting, because to them, maybe it made perfect sense. Maybe they just love me because I never broke them or whatever. Maybe they, um... I don't know, who knows? I'm getting a little bit low on time here. Um, who knows? Maybe a little around the world here. All the way around. A bit of this. I'm not sure if that connects or not. Oops. I'm gonna do that. Hit over to here. Hit over to here. Um, I would hit him the quick good game. I'm running out of time. Clean it up there. And all right, I'll take it. Orange through at the end. They could maybe potentially have won that. But there it is. You'll love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. Let's see, uh, they were a novice, that explains a lot. Yellow was a novice, that was a novice. Ooh, black was a novice, but still smart enough to make a kill. Beginner, beginner, alright, well that explains a lot, that explains a lot. But there it is, love to see it. See you next time!